little snakes here. The little baby snipes right there. Snipes. Oh, they're so little and cute. I think they're baby ones. Probably. You can see them right there. That's what I'm fishing with. And we're going to try to get some trout out of this beautiful little pond here. There's a series of ponds here that Grandpa brought me to. We're going to see if we can catch one. Me and Grandpa, we're cruising along in the Jeep. We're still uh, fishing these little ponds out here. There's, I seen fish coming by. I seen a pike and I seen grayling, maybe a trout. see if I can set this camera up. You can watch me. See if I can cast this pole. Stay on the film. I didn't get any bites yet, but there's these beautiful dragonflies down here. Beautiful turquoise. Look at them. Aren't they just beautiful? I don't think I've ever seen such beautiful turquoise dragonflies before. There's a bunch of them here. Look at all those blue dragonflies. There's literally thousands of them here flying around. Look at all of them. And this be the breeding spot for the turquoise blue dragon flies. They're just everywhere. Beautiful little road right here. I'm holding the phone out the window so it doesn't slip through a dirty windshield, but it might be windy sounded. shaped like a duck so when you fly over in the jet it looks like a duck oh that's cool yeah they should have called it duck lake oh god look at the bugs coming yeah. up we built this room with the gravel right here the reason they had this one three and a half feet deep one loop here and a bigger loop around out there fishing today was just to catch and release so we couldn't keep anything but this is some salmon that we already had and I decided to come home and put this on the grill and have it it is so good I like to put a uh, 
lemon pepper on it. That's my favorite thing to cook salmon with. And um, it looks like this. It tastes so good on salmon. So I just sprinkle it all on here, put this grill top down, and there's what it looks like when you got the seasoning, the lemon pepper all covered on it. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn our grill on a low setting and let's cook it up. And then you turn it on, the lights right here, that it indicates that it's on. And then this is your setting, minimum setting to maximum setting. And we set it at the minimum setting and it heats it from both the top and the bottom. It is a George Foreman grill and it cooks fish and steak perfect. Let's check it. Ooh, look at that. Such a nice. I just want to say I'm not affiliated with the George Foreman grill or uh, I am not advertising for them. I just really, really love this grill and wanted to share it with you. Ooh, look at that nice sear on there. So when they get to this point, you don't have to turn them three different both sides, but I like to turn them because then you can pull the skin off. You see how the skin is still on there? And now you can just take the skin and you can just peel it right off. It just peels right off, off there. Just like that. I'm gonna finish peeling this off here. I season this side up a little bit, and then I just cook it for like one more minute, and then it's done. All right, it's done. Let's look at this. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Take it off here. Oh, doesn't that look so delicious? I can't wait to bite into it. Just perfect. Break into this. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect bite. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that is so good. There you have it. A delicious meal. Salmon with a bit of spinach, sweet potato with butter, some secret sauce that's good on the potato or the salmon. It is actually Japanese mayonnaise, but it's called secret sauce. And now I'm going to dig into this delicious meal. Cheers. Thanks for watching. The perfect bite. A little bit of everything. Mmm. 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 Really good.